Hi guys, this is Edward and welcome to our first video in this series. So on this video we're just going to be working on setting up the project, so later we can just focus on creating the game. Without further ado, let's get into it. So having already opened the project manager, I'm gonna click on new project and I'll specify the project path by clicking on the browse button right here. And open up the directory you want to save your projects in. And now we want to create a new folder which I'm gonna name platformer. Click OK, select current folder, and you'll see that the project name has taken the name of the folder we just created, which is actually what we want. So now we can go ahead and click on create and edit, and that's gonna open up the engine itself. Now for me, I personally like having the scene view all the way to the left and the other panels on the right. So, in order to achieve this, I'll first move the inspector panel to this square right here and the node panel alongside with the inspector. Then for the scene panel, we'll place it next to the scene view right here on this square and for the import panel, we'll do the same. And finally, I want to move the file system below the scene panel right here. I'm going to give them more room by clicking and dragging on these handles right about here. And we also want to give this size some space as well, so let's just resize it a little bit there. Let's now create a root node for the 2D scene and rename it Word. And as you can see it has automatically changed the view to 2D, and we are not going to be using this rule here. So we can just turn it off by clicking on view and then on show rules. I will now press Ctrl S to save the scene and let's create a new folder named stages. Click OK and in Godot we actually don't have stages, pretty much everything is a scene but we are going to call stage a scene that is holding a game level and we can save this as game.tscn. We can now create a few folders that we are going to be using in this project. But just before doing that, I'm not really a fan of seeing the project file as a tree. So I will click on toggle split mode, which brings us a second view down here. And I'm just going to drag it all the way up so it covers the panel at the top. And I just like it better using the file system this way, so there you go. Let's go ahead and right click here and create a new folder named scenes. other one named scripts let's create one for our sprite and one for the sounds we now want to import our game assets and I will provide a link in the description with a file containing the sounds, sprites and the icon for this game I will go into the sprites folder Select all of them with Ctrl A and first make sure that you are in the sprites folder on the file system so we don't place them somewhere else. And I'm going to drop and drop all of them here. And if you just open up one of them, you'll see that they look kind of blurry. So in order to make them pixel perfect, we'll have to import all of them. So let's select all of them by first selecting the first one, go all the way down to the bottom, and while holding shift, click on the very last one. Let's go to the import panel, and in here, it will say that you have selected 59 files. Go ahead and disable the Tech 3D, and filter as well, and then click on Reports. And you can see that the sprites are not blurry anymore. Let's go one folder up and double click on the sounds folder. Back to the assets, let's select all of our sounds and drag and drop it into the project. And for the last one, we're just going to replace the icon image. And that's pretty much set for the project structure. Let's now go to the project settings, click on project project settings 
and on this panel I move down to the display and window settings. And here we want to set the size of our game view to 640 by 320. And we can also set a size for testing, which is going to override the size of the window of the game, but not the size of the game view. So I'll make the window twice bigger than the game view by setting the test width to 640 by 2 and the test height to 320 by 2. I'm going to also allow HGPI so the window doesn't get scaled by some setting specified by the OS on the computer. Let's move down and the stretch mode I will set it to 2D. We are going to set the aspect to keep so it keeps the size of the game view horizontally and vertically. Let's go on the rendering to the environment section and change the default clean color to this color right here that I got for this image. I'll go ahead and paste its value here, hit enter, click on close, and you can already see that the game view is smaller now and the background color of the game has changed. Let's try to run our game. And you can see that it is asking us to set a main scene, so the engine knows what the scene is going to start with. Click on select and select the game scene file. And there we have our window running. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. On the next one, we're going to be making the player controller, so stay tuned. And if you'd like to support me, you can do so on my Patreon page. I really appreciate the support. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, see you later.